Hello and welcome back. In the first video of this playlist, we went through the number of uh, load combinations that we need to consider for the design. As I mentioned, not all of those load combinations might be critical and it's uh, up to the engineer and designer to decide how many of them would be critical to be considered. Typically, in the very early phase of the project, we assume the maximum critical load and we design everything according to that. And later on, when it comes to the uh, phase two, then we try to optimize and find out the uh, accurate or better result of the design. In this video, I'm going to check with the uh, RFM6 from Dolobal to see how it works. Let's start with the new model. So let's create a new model. Load combinations and favorable and unfavorable. The standard will be in this case, for example, Finnish national annex, but you can select which one is appropriate. And here we are. Let's go through the self-weight. As I mentioned, self-weight is the weight of the structure itself. Usually I add another uh, load case named dead load. Here you can change the action category. After that, let's have the live load, which is for example, category A. The next one is a snow load. And that can be selected from what kind of snow we have. And then wind positive X. We can copy and change the name. Negative positive Y and then negative y here in the base you can change the naming i can show you how it looks like and uh, load cases actions that is very important here the permanent you can see that we have only four categories a one two three four and each one uh, contains several or one or several load cases for example for permanent if you look at this action type it is written it is simultaneously meaning that whatever you have will apply it will be applied to the structure at the same time in the imposed loads or variable loads we have only live load for a snow also we have only a snow but for wind we have four winds but if we come to the main tab you can see that it is written alternatively meaning that uh, they are not applied together so they are one of them can be applied in the load combination design situation here we have several at the moment i delete these characteristic loads and here you have combination wizards for that you need to activate combination wizards and then here you have it if i modify this here you can see that the uh, Favorable permanent actions can be added to the load combination. For now, I leave it as it is. And action combination, you can see that we do not have any 0 0.9. And this value, for example, 1.05 is coming from the 1.5 times 0 0.7 size 0. And load combination here we can see how many load combinations we have if you remember it was 37 and here we have the same load combinations if i come back to the load combinations wizard and activate that one and coming back to here you can see that we have 73 uh, if we apply 0 0.9 to those 37, it will be 74. The main reason is that if you are considering 1.35 of load case 1 and 2, which are 
permanent actions then 0 0.9 might not be appropriate here you can see that we do not have such load combination so one is excluded and 73 load combinations are given coming back to base if you click this one as combination names according to action category and coming back to here then you can see that this is g1 g2 it might be easier to follow what kind of load case you have this is for example qs representing a snow ql in the category of a and here for example this is qw1 meaning wind number one that you provided so that's all let's uh, just delete these actions and continue with the example that we had in the previous example so if i have only two load cases dead load and live load here in the load combinations we can see that we have 1.35 g 1.15 g plus 1.1 q and 0.9 g plus 1.5 q and let's have one element i have ip 240 here and if you remember it was six meters beam this one was inch and uh, for the other two i can put just the roller working in zeta direction and also i can prevent the rotation about x that it is not rotating coming back to the loading i can select the elements i excluded the weight of the element just to compare our results so gk was minus 10 kilonewton per meter and q was 20. so here if you apply the load for these two spans and if you go to for example 1.15 g plus 1.5 q you can see that it is applied to the old even though we selected to have unfavorable because designer needs to think how to arrange live load so if you solve it we can see the results might not be as we calculated by hand because the live load is considered in both spans here we can see that it is 104 and if you remember in our calculation it was 132.5 kilonewton meter to achieve the same results uh, it is better if we have the kind of uh, arrangement of loading for the live load in this case if we go to 1.15 plus 1.5 live load and solve it we can see that it is 132 and based on our calculation in the previous video it was 132.5 kilonewton meter and if we are interested in the most favorable action then we come to 0 0.9 for that we have to consider the span bc so here we can solve it and we can check the results if you remember it was minus two but it was not uh, exact so here i can check the member diagram i can just deselect this one and in the distance of three over eight or the other side five over eight times six meters it will be 3.75 meters so here you can see that it is minus 2.51 and we calculated it was minus 2.53 so mathematically for sure this is correct but you can see that the exact value or the exact maximum bending moment happens somewhere but compared to the maximum positive value 132 if your beam can withstand 
that bending moment for sure it can take this bending moment as well that's all for this video we went through the first uh, video of this playlist and the previous video uh, to compare and to check how we have to um, set up the software for example here Arkham from the global uh, to get the same results and be sure that the results are reliable. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.